Hey, so I'm Chris and I'm sitting down here in my basement and I was thinking I've been putting these videos up of me working with, you know, inking and carving and whatever. I'm doing all the things that I do and I, I talk through some of them, but it's mostly answering questions like what kind of wood do you carve or, or things like that. So I kind of thought that I, it'd be interesting for maybe you guys and for me a little bit if I were to walk through the creative process that I go through with a piece. So, I am currently working on, I'm looking over at my desk, currently working on a little bat drawing that I've been working on for like an hour or so. And I want to turn it into a couple different things. The first thing I want to do with it is I want to turn it into a t-shirt. But I've been thinking about incorporating uh, some wood texture, wood grain, and other wood pieces into my work. And I want to explore that a little bit more in the next week or so. So I'm going to use this little bat as an excuse to do that. Just to kind of think about what I'm doing there and, and uh, take you th through that creative process. So um, I'll show you what I'm working on. So I've got this drawn out on my, on my iPad. It's a little, little bat I've been working on for a while, like I said. And the current piece that I have working is this uh, rat holding an eyeball. As you can see, it's got, uh, it's mounted on a board and it's got wood grain and spray paint masked out along the back of it. So, and, you know, it just hangs on the wall like that. So I want to turn this little guy into a piece like that, and I'm going to, you know, I don't really know where I'm going with it yet, but every time I have a thought or a new direction, I'm going to turn on the com my camera, and show you guys what I'm thinking, just so you can kind of see where I'm going with it. So that's what this video is going to be. Hopefully you enjoy it. Thank you. All right, so I'm in the dusty room and I'm working on my bat piece again. So in the dusty room in my basement is where I do all of my uh, wood cutting, my um, where I use my power tools really. So I've got my bat piece drawn out on the MDF now. I'm kind of thinking that I want to maybe incorporate some sort of the the wood pattern, maybe with um, uh, like some like wooden moths or some birds or not birds uh, like bugs. Um, so that's what I'm thinking to do. Maybe some sort of night sky kind of thing with the wood grain. We'll see what I do. But I gotta cut that out on my scroll saw next. So I'll be over there in a couple minutes just cutting that out. So that's what I'm working on now with the back guy. I'm back to the drawing board on this bat. And I think I've decided what I want to do. Maybe I'm not going to do the uh, the wooden moth. I, I couldn't really figure out a way to do that successfully. It kind of seemed a little bit cluttered every time I threw them in there. So I decided to take like the the colors of like the the night scene and like light blues and stuff. So I'm gonna make a I'm going to make a a square, and I'm gonna stain it blue. And then do a little bit of spray paint on top of it, this like a more richer blue color. And then the brown's going to be a cutout to show some stained and and treated wood behind that to incorporate some of the wood grain texture that I was talking about earlier. And then it's going to have another diamond behind uh, inside that. So it's going to be the wood behind it is going to be a half inch wood, and then the cutout layer is going to be a quarter inch. So it's going to be a three quarter inch background stacked up and layered with a little bit of some little cutouts with a half inch MDF carved bat on top of all of that. I think that's the final say. I, I really enjoy how that looks so I'm gonna work my best to get that into production. Back to work on the bat piece and I've got my blue background spray painted. I meant to take a picture of it before I spray painted it but I forgot but you can see it's got tape on it and I'll be peeling the tape off to see what I've got underneath there. So I've got working on the bat piece and that's what I'm about to do now is to peel that tape off to see what the background's going.
now that the paint, uh, the tape is all peeled off, I can I see kind of what I have. Um, and remember how I said I wanted to work wood grain into it. This is pretty much what we're at. Um, I think I'm going to cut out this light blue strip, this this larger one in the middle here, and I'm going to let the wood grain be exposed through that hole. So that's that's what I'm going to work on next is getting that all worked out. So I got to put some polyurethane on this, and some polyurethane on the the stained wood, and then I can start assembling the background. In the meantime, I'll be painting the bat. And here we are, I've got all of the pieces finished. I've got my background completed. This is the quarter inch spray painted and stained wood mounted on a half inch wood background. And I've cut the quarter inch piece out to reveal a little window of the raw stained wood with polyurethane on the surface. And then I've got my bat. All that's left now is to assemble it. And it's, you know, it's going to take me a little bit longer than just to place it on here. I got to put some screws in it and, some gl and glue it down. I also got to wait for the bat to dry. But we're looking at something like that for my finished piece. I also got to paint the edges, but this is this is where I'm at. Pretty happy with how this turned out. So this is how this is my goal of incorporating my carved wood technique with a nice wood grain background. Wood grain incorporated background. So thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed seeing how this came from a sketch to a final piece.